Hi, mathematicians. Today's learning goal is I can estimate multi-digit products by rounding factors to a basic fact and using place value patterns. What in the world does that mean? It means that we're going to take our multi-digit numbers and we're going to round them so that we can use our basic facts to find the products. Okay, so to get started, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to use the number of students in our class times the number of classes in our school to figure out how many students are in our school and we're going to estimate. So there are 22 students in our class. There are 26 classes in the school. So to find out how many about how many students are in the school, we're going to multiply those two numbers. But before we do that, we're going to round them. Now, I know that I can round 22, that's how many students are in our class, we'll round to 20. Now, if I round 26 to the nearest 10, it's going to be 30, but I think that's going to give me an estimate that's too high. So I'm going to take 26 and I'm going to round it to 25 because I also know that I can multiply 25 times 2 pretty easily. So if I take 25 times 20, that is also the same as 25 times 2 times 10 because 20 is 2 times 10. So 25 times 2 is 50 and then times 10 gives me 500. So I can say there are about 500 students in Forest Hills. Okay, so now let's take that same thing, rounding our factors, and let's try to multiply some of these. So if I have 456 times 42, and I don't need to know the exact answer, I could round 456 to 460 and 42 to 40, but that's still kind of hard to multiply. So I could also round 456 to 500 and then multiply it times 40 and that would give me 5 times 4 which is 20 and then 100 times 10 is thousands so that gives me 20,000. We can do the same thing with 4,560 times 42. I can again round this to 5,000 times 40. And 5,000 times 40, again, 5 times 4 is 20. And then 1,000 times 10 is 10,000. So that gives me four more zeros. So 5,000 times 40 is 200,000. Okay, so now I have 1,320 times 88. What should I round that to? Well, I could round 1,320 to 1,300 and 88 rounds to 90. And if I did that, I could say 13 times 9, which if I multiply 13 times 9, I get 117, and then I would multiply times 1,000, which I get from 100 times 10, so I get 117,000, which is one way to do it. I could also round 1,320 to 1,000 and then multiply that 
times 90 and that would give me 90,000. Which one do you think is closer to the actual product? 117,000 is closer. But either answer is still correct. Now, if I take 3,120, I can round that to 3,000. 880, I'll round to 900. So, 9 times 3 is 27. And then 100 times 1,000 is 100,000. So, my answer is 2,700,000. Now, for 2,146 times 12, I'm going to round my first factor to 2,000 and my second factor to 10. Those are super easy. So, that would give me 20,000. Now, 571 times 43, I'm going to round that to 500 and the 43 to 40. That makes it really easy to multiply. 5 times 4 is 20. And 100 times 10 is thousands, so I have 20 thousands. Now, this is a super easy math lesson. I know y'all got it, so move on to the problem set.